This is a basic guide for rebuilding uh, the pump head on your Comet MC18 Viton pump. If you took your pump to the side, it's the easiest way to do it, or if it's already on the machine, if you just lean it up and put a bit of piece of wood under it, it makes it much easier. What you should have is these four parts, which form the valve assembly of the pump, both high pressure and the low pressure side. Um, the first piece that goes in is this little stainless steel valve seat with an o-ring on the back and that goes in o-ring down into the pump casing and you just pop that in there and if you need to use a biro or something to seat it properly and get the o-ring in the center that's perfectly fine um, the next bit is to put your turret or castle into the valve cover just push it in like that if it's sticking just push it down on the table and press flat against it and it'll go in properly the next thing you need is your valve and your valve seat so your little spring and the little seat on the top and if you place that valve seat down it roughly in the center of the valve chamber and then you've got to line up the center plug with the internals on the spring and you screw that down and do it finger tight and then take a 14 millimeter spanner and just do it up until you can feel it start to resist and that's usually just enough you don't have to do them too tight you're not trying to screw this all the way into the pump head if you do that one or two things will happen either the spring won't be able to move backwards and forwards so the valve won't work and it'll probably crack the casing of the um, valve cap or you'll crack the Viton uh, pump casing um, on the head which you can't repair very easily and um, so you've got that like that if you take this off and look inside which you may well have done you've got a central diaphragm and the two o-rings it's important that these two o-rings are still in place obviously these seal the plastic casing against the head unit itself the outer casing has got brass guides for the bolts which keep those nice and tight and if you can see straight through you can see virtually straight through the pump if you've got both sides off so obviously you reverse what you did to take it to pieces and if you've got the new valve plates you have one of these and six bolts if you've not if your pump didn't have these on to begin with you'll have six bolts and but each of them will have on it um, a little stainless steel washer if you're going to fit the new type casing protector uh, valve kit holder guard then you take off the o-ring from or washer from four of the bolts and fit the two that have got the o-ring uh, the washers on still into the side casings to keep the casing down whilst you're rebuilding the rest of the head so if you screw those in these are eight mil um, heads on these bolts so they're m8 washers if you ever lose them then you, sorry no they're not, they're M4, sorry. Um, then you've got obviously the casing itself, that just pops over the top, and then you pop in your four bolts. Obviously I've not put the pressure side cap in. But if you just then do those up with a 8mm spanner and again these don't want to be ridiculously tight you just do them up until you can feel them start to bite and then just go a little over it being careful not to split the casing obviously if you screw them down together you'll get an even distribution on the casing if you do that all the way around you've rebuilt the pump head um, there's very few parts as long as you don't lose anything you shouldn't have any problems if you've not it won't work um, and you'll soon know when you've started up again